First qualifying heat brought to you by Creative Edge Signs and Graphics, starting on the pole at a Caster Center in the KT Tobacco Town Line Variety Silo Wireless 97. It's Corey Turner. Going off from the second spot at a Fort Erie, the Sewell's Automotive Service Master, Dixon Auto Body, Zenkin Truck and Trailer 27Z at Stan Zenkin. Starting third at a Thames for Ontario, the Vipond, Dallar Car and Wrigley Brothers Trucking. Number six, it's Curtis Gartley. And his outside going off fourth from Fenwick in the Gibbons Contracting, Upper Canada Consultants, Amherst Crane Rentals, Concrete Pumping, car number 14H, it's the Red Rocket, Jim Hoopin' it. Starting fifth out of Pancor, Ontario, the ECF Industrial, Lumar Excavating and Trucking, Vertac, number 38 of Tyler Hendricks. And starting in sixth out of Tecumseh, Michigan, the Townline Variety, Gertie Engine, 17X of Danomite, Dane Nida. And starting in the seventh spot out of Oakland in the Bradshaw Fields, the Shrieken Speedway, 47 exits, Dylan Westbrook. Seven cars, eight laps the distance for the Creative Edge, Signs and Graphics, qualifying heat number one. So the field doubles up down the back stretch. Corey Turner stands Sankin on the front row for this first of three qualifying heats for the Cool Kids. Core Pack Sprint Cars. Kyle McKenzie with the green flag in hand, ready to bring them to life off of corner number four. So here we go, Corey Turner still looking to get the handle on that number 97 car tonight. He thinks might be the night that he gets that one going a little bit better, but here comes Jim Hoopin into the bottom side in corner three. Hoopin in down in that inside line following Corey Turner as they come across the stripe. Turner leads lap number one with Hoopin in, in tow. He looks down to the inside of the 97, but a better run for Turner off of corner two. Uh, Hoopin in it loves to get that run out of corner two on the bottom side. Couldn't get it done that time, and now he has to follow Turner through three and four. Behind them, Curtis Gurley back after a week off as he had to miss last week's race for a wedding. And he's up in third, keeping Dean Nida and Dylan Westbrook behind him. Outside pole sitter Stan Zenkin struggling with the handling on that 27Z in the opening lap. He's gathered it back up, but is at the tail of this one right now, running seventh in this first qualifying heat with Corey Turner, your leader, Jim Hoopin in second, Curtis Gartley in third. The fight is for fourth between Dylan Westbrook and Dean Nida. Turner has started to open that gap even more now, a much quicker lap time last time than Hoopin and ran. Meanwhile, Gartley seeing some heat from both Nida and Westbrook as Westbrook gets to the inside and takes away the fourth spot from Nida. Corey Turner across the stripe, leads lap number five, three to go. For the driver of the KT Tobacco car, number 97, gets it through corner three and off of four this time by, it'll be two to go, this is Kyle McKenzie. Dean Nida having all kinds of problems right now in that 17X car, almost got in the wall out of corner two. Hendricks slides up over the cushion in three and four as well, but up front it's all Corey Turner. White flag will be displayed on the field this time around. Corey Turner is your leader. He gets it across the stripe. Jim Hoopinen holding down the second spot. Gartley remains in third. Dylan Westbrook up to fourth. And uh, right now the man on the move, the passing points. Well, it's Hoopinen and Westbrook. Westbrook looking for more passing points on the last lap here. Turner will get the win. Second will be Hoopinen. Third at the line. Who's it going to be? It'll be Westbrook. Then Gartley, Nida, Zakin, and the 38 of Hendricks. So there's your winner of Creative Edge Science and Graphics Heat Race number one at a Caster Center, the KT Tobacco. Silo Wireless Hills Racing number 97 of Corey Turner. And for passing points, one would think Dylan Westbrook did himself a favor, started in the seventh spot, got up to third at the finish. So he's looking for that extra chunk of change from Ackland Insurance for the Top Gun Award. Getting ready for the second qualifying heat of three. This one brought to you by Insta Insulation. Water down in the Mahoney Inspection Services. Stenhouse Signs and Graphics Regional Tractor Sale 5C. It's Connor Mahoney. And his outside out of Port Colburn in the Burger Barn Ace 1 Construction 5D. It's Dave Dykstra. Starting third at the Caster Center, the Insta Panel is Aces Bar and Grill. Janney Recovery Plastics Auto Recycler 91 is Ryan Turner. And his outside starting in position number four to Six Nations, the Town Line Variety, Iroquois, Hereford Farms, Bank of Montreal, Tony Stewart Racing, 77X, the Six Nations sensation, Alex Hill. Starting fifth at Lewiston, New York, in the G&J Contracting, number 81, it's Derek Jonathan. And starting in the sixth and final spot, 
That'll right here on our streak in the Case IH Global Fireworks Rochester Nighthawks Renway Energy number zero, the Oshweekin Flyer Glenn Styers. So six cars, eight laps the distance in the second qualifying heat brought to you by Insta Insulation. Field doubles up in corner number two coming to the green flag in a heat race number two brought to you by Insta Insulation. Connor Mahoney, Dave Dykstra, a pair of fives on the front row of this one. Ryan Turner, Alex Hill, row two, Derek Jonathan, and Glenn Styers, row three. Coming to life here in heat race number two. Well, you got to think Glenn Styers is looking his chops, looking for some passing points here, but a tough heat race. Some good cars starting in front of him. He gets around. Derek Jonathan to start it off, but up front, Dave Dykstra leads into corner three. Up top of that top shelf is the leader. Dave Dykstra bringing Alex Hill along for the ride as well as Glenn Styers trying to use that outside line. Now Styers dips down low in corner number one, put Alex Hill to the second spot as she gets by Connor Mahoney. Alex Hill kind of did a bit of a reverse slide job there. Drove down the hill to cut off Connor Mahoney there, and she took the second spot with some authority, but now Mahoney back to the inside at corner two. Good battle for that second spot, as is the battle for fourth between Styers and Turner. Styers gets by Turner for the moment, but a good run to the inside by the 91 machine. So Hill still has the second spot. Mahoney is still right there, though. Behind them, Styers has fought off the 91 of Turner for the moment after he made a run at that fourth spot, but up front, Dave Dykstra running some quick lap times up front. He leads the way at the cross flags. Four and four to go for Dave Dykstra in the Burger Bar in Ace One Construction. Number 5D, Alex Hill right now sitting in second. Connor Mahoney third. Glenn Styers looking for a top three spot. Works the outside line. Started in the back row looking for more passing points. Alex Hill took last week to head over to Knoxville, Iowa. Her first time at that track back here at the 3 8 mile after running the big half mile down there and doing a good job right now in that second spot with two laps to go. Yeah, very nice job here by Alex Hill in the second qualifying heat. Dave Dykstra leads him through corner three and off of corner four to see the white flag one more time around in Insta Insulation Heat Race number two. Hill might be losing a little bit of ground that she had gained over Connor Mahoney, but as I say that, she does a little better in corner two and opens up a bit of a gap again. Dykstra heads out of corner four the final time. Checkers go to Dave Dykstra in instant insulation heat race number two. Alex Hill second, Connor Mahoney third. Fourth will go to Derek Jonathan as two cars dropped out of that one. Both Ryan Turner and Glenn Styers make the early exit. There's your winner of heat race number two brought to you by instant insulation, the driver of the Burger Barn. Ace one construction number 5D, it's Dave Dykstra. Third and final qualifying heat. This one is brought to you by Strickland's GMC in Brantford. Starting on the pole out of Brantford and the Holdex Brakes. Hills Tire and Gas, Strode's Express, number 10. It's downtown Mitch Brown. Ready to come to the green flag in the final qualifying heat for the Cool Kids. Core Pack Sprint Cars. Mitch Brown on the pull, sets the pace off a of corner four, and we're underway. So the two top drivers and points are in this one, the brothers, Mitch Brown and Jake Brown, but John Burbridge just sand sandwiched himself in between them, and now Jamie Turner making a run at doing the same. Off a of corner four, they come to complete the first lap. Mitch Brown leading the way, second place in points. His younger brother Jake and that little Ben 110 working for the second spot. He's first in points. Here comes Brown to the inside of Burbridge into three. He has a spot for the moment. Burbridge fighting back on the top side. That backup car that he brought out last week after a hard crash a couple weeks ago. Nice to see Burbridge back out here. Up front, it's all Mitch Brown, though, as he's pulled away from the rest of the field. Going down to complete the third lap, five to go for downtown Mitch Brown. Jake Brown solidly in second with Jamie Turner now duking it out with Burbridge. And also into the mix is the two of Lee Winger looking racy here in this qualifying heat. Winger won the dash race with the Patriots last week. One of the better runs he's had so far in his early sprint car career. He's working on trying to take that fifth spot away, fourth spot away from Burbridge. 
Off a corner four, this time by to complete lap number five. Three remaining on the board for downtown Mitch Brown. Jake Brown solidly in that second position. Gene Turner sitting in third. Not a lot of passing points going up on the board in this one. Now the top three have broken away. Winger has gained a few of those. He gets around the 31 of Burbridge and now Lyons working on Burbridge as well. Winger is quickly gaining on Jamie Turner. Still has two laps to go to try to catch him. Coming to the white flag, Mitch Brown leading the way. One more trip around. Jake Brown is straight away behind in the second spot. Jamie Turner starting to feel the heat a little bit from Lee Winger as the leader goes through three for the final time. So Mitch Brown comes out at corner four. The final time gets the checkered flag from Kyle McKenzie and Mitch Brown is your winner of heat race number three. Second will be Jake Brown. Third will be Jamie Turner. Then it's Lee Winger and Steve Lyons finally gets around John Burbridge to take the fifth spot. So your winner of heat race number three brought to you by Strickland's GMC out of Brantford, Ontario. The Holdex, Strode's Barbecue, Hills Tire and Gas, number 10 of downtown Mitch Brown. So that'll do it for our 360 sprint car division. And GMC pace truck. They are going to hold Corey Turner back a row, the missing man formation for the four wide in honor of Abel Castelline, who couldn't be here tonight for the Wall of Fame ceremonies. The missing man formation, but they are four wide and fancy. This is the Cool Kids Core Pack Sprint Car Division. Lone Wolf Fireworks lighting up the sky of the four wide salute for the Cool Kids Core Pack Sprint Cars. Field will double up and take shape, coming to the white flag. The field takes the white flag next time by. We're going green flag racing. 20 laps, the A main event for the Cool Kids Core Pack Sprint Cars. 10 rows of beautifully prepared sprint cars ready to come to life. Corey Turner, Mitch Brown is on your front row. Kyle McKenzie's got the double green flags in hand. Ladies and gentlemen, you came looking for a show. Well, here you go. Let's end all the anticipation as we bring to you our feature presentation. Here we go, Corey Turner with a bit of a wheelie on the start there. That gives Mitch Brown the lead for the moment, but look at Dave Dykstra around the top side. Mitch Brown, your leader into corner number three. Dave Dykstra you're there in that second spot. Corey Turner third, but here comes the Red Rocket. Jim Hoopinen working the outside line on 97 to Turner. Mitch Brown has the lead. Dykstra again to the top side in one and two. Meanwhile, Jim hooping and right there on Corey Turner, hooping it through the middle in three and four, looking for that third spot. Four cars break away at the front. It's Brown, Dykstra, Turner, and hooping in as they go at it. Brown, your leader, off the corner, number two, side by side for second. Dykstra and Turner going at it. Turner and Dykstra still going at it for that second spot. Brown would be liking this if he had a mirror as those two race side by side. Brown has opened up a bit of a gap. Now Jim Hoopin and making it a three car battle for the second spot. Brown stretching his lead just a little bit with Turner, Hoopin and Dykstra all duking it out right now for the runner up spot. Right now running in fifth. You got the point leader Jake Brown. He's feeling the heat from Dylan Westbrook. His fellow rookie of the year contender Dylan Westbrook. Those two going at it for both the championship and the rookie of the year title. Meanwhile, up front, Mitch Brown still has the lead, but Dykstra may be starting to cut into that gap just a bit as Derek Jonathan had a bit of an excursion up there in corner two. Dave Dykstra getting some speed wound up on the outside line there in that Burger Barn Ace one construction, five deep. Off they come from corner number four. Six laps 
are in the books. 14 to go. Dykstra had trouble there out of corner four. Turner got to the inside now and put Dykstra back to third. Turner trying to chase Mitch Brown back down as those two started on the front row. Lap traffic right in front of the leader. The first car up will be Derek Jonathan in the 81. And then there is a big clump of cars right in front of him. So the leaders are going to end up catching this. If we say green flag racing, it could tighten things up big time. Dylan Westbrook and Jake Brown have caught Jim Hoopinen for that fourth spot now as those two go at it. But trouble now for Dylan Westbrook as he slows out of corner four and the yellow flag will come out. Dylan Westbrook brings out the yellow flag in this one. Eight laps in, 12 to go. Mitch Brown, your leader. And Dylan Westbrook with problems on the 47X. So this will give the leaders a chance to catch their breath. or hopefully not a suspension part. We'll find out pretty quick if that's the case. Tommy, what it is, is it looks like a part of the uh, threaded rod that they use as um, torsion stops, torsion bar retainers. It's a big piece of threaded rod from a torsion stop retainer. So if it's only the retainer, that's not too bad, but somebody's torsion stop is a little bit Worse for wear now as we get set to go again. 12 laps left to settle it. Green flag back in the air. Mitch Brown rockets away from lap car. Derek Jonathan, that is exactly what Corey Turner did not want to see as the train gets held up in behind. Turner in second. Here comes Dykstra by Jonathan as he tries to clear the lap car. So everybody to the bottom side except for Glenn Styers and Jamie Turner as they make some moves here. Styers may be up in the top five very quick. Yeah, Styers working that outside line, and it hasn't worked for him yet here in 2016, but it's uh, hooking up tonight nicely in that zero machine who had problems in the qualifying heat, but uh, is working well here in the feature at the cross flags. He's got the wing pushed back a little bit, does Styers on the zero, looking for some rear grip on that machine. Up front, it's all Mitch Brown, then Corey Turner has Dykstra in the rest of the field, still working to try to get around the fairly quick, quick lap machine of Derek Jonathan. Things are going to get dicey here in a minute. Here comes Styers charging by Jim Hoopin and now working on the 5D of Dave Dykstra. Loses a lot of ground up in corner number two. So the top two have broken away. Mitch Brown's got about a three-quarter of a straightaway advantage over Corey Turner. And it's about the same distance back to third place, Dave Dykstra. Dykstra's gone to the bottom here and catches a rut down in turn two. Hoopin is trying to fight his way around the outside. And that's allowing Glenn Styers into that fight for the top five now. Mitch Brown leads another lap with seven to go now. 13 on the board for downtown Mitch Brown. He's about to catch some lap traffic. Next car up for him will be Alex Hill in the 77X. Corey Turner will look up top to try and gain some ground. Yeah, he sees those lap cars mostly running the bottom groove, as is Brown. So Turner going to try to go up to the top side and make some hay, but a long way to go. A full straightaway behind is Turner from the number 10 of Mitch Brown. Across the stripe, the big high five from Kyle McKenzie. Five more trips around for the leader. Downtown, Mitch Brown, Corey Turner in the second spot. Third right now, Dave Dykstra. Fourth is Glenn Styers. Fifth, Jim Hoopinen. Some heavy tra traffic here for Brown, but the Red Sea parts there as Zankin and Mahoney were both on the bottom and then got up to the middle or top groove there. That allowed Brown to get around without slowing down too much. So Brown maintains a big lead here, coming to three to go. Got to give a bit of a shout out to Ryan Turner, who started all the way back in the second to last row. And right now he's running in sixth, and he's challenging for a top five of the 14 each of Jim Hoopinen. Yeah, Turner looking to keep his streak of top fives going here at Oshweekin in that number 91 car. Two to go now for Brown at the front of the field. Mitch Brown getting through all this lap traffic quite easily. Gets around John Burbridge Jr. Next up will be Lee Winger as he's got three or four cars. Make it three cars. A lap down between he and second place. Corey Turner was about to feel the pressure from Glenn Styers. Yeah, good fight going on for that spot as Dykstra's in it as well. Three wide out of corner four. Styers has the second spot. The leader works it down the back stretch. 
Final time through three and four. The checkered flag will go in the air and downtown Mitch Brown will get the feature win. The battle for second is on, off of the corner. Glenn Styers will get the spot over Corey Turner. Then it's Jim Hoopinen and Ryan Turner as Dave Dykstra had problems in corner three on that final lap and will not complete the lap and lose a ton of positions. Great run for Dave Dykstra is all for naught as it comes to a rest up in corner three. So we'll go down to mobile one victory lane. Get a word with our top three and your winner, downtown Mitch Brown. Don't forget, we've still got three more features to come. Mod lights, mini stocks, and thunder stocks. And with that, Mitch Brown has unofficially taken over the points lead from his brother, Jake. We'll send Greg Cowlin down the Mobile One victory lane to get a word with Mitch Brown. Who now has nine career 360 sprint car feature wins here at our Shrieken Speedway? Mitch Brown climbs out of car number 10. Down, down here in Mobile One Victory Lane. Bring him around here to the front of the car. Let's hear from downtown Mitch Brown. Downtown Mitch Brown, ninth career win already at Oshweek and Speedway. Hard to believe the racket up pretty quick. Yeah, who would have thought? Uh, I was a kid running a mini stock here, sitting in the stands, watching Glenn's tires blow around this place, going, that, that'd be fun. But uh, yeah, um, I got to thank these guys. Uh, I forget everybody every time, but my dad, uh, Nikki, Nathan, Neil, my brother, we put up, uh, he puts a lot of work in on my car too. And uh, Haldex, Hills Tires, and they do so much for me, and it's awesome to be here every week. You had something really going on the start. So the initial start and on that restart, you just pulled away from everybody. Yeah, it was, it's just homework, man. Uh, I, you do more work in the off season, that's where the race is won. And I honestly got to thank somebody that's not here. Uh, Daniel Lasoski gave me a couple tips this week, and uh, it worked. There you have it. Downtown Mitch Brown, your winner tonight for the Cool Kids Corpac Sprint Cars. A runner-up, his best finish so far in 2016, Glenn Styers. That looked hot inside that car here tonight. A great run. You were finally hooked up the way you like to be on the outside line. Yeah, I was going around there pretty good. I could almost flat foot it through the corner, but I was still a little bit hesitant. Um, but I knew I was watching the scoreboard, and I knew I was picking off spots and uh, just trying to be um, safe out there and not wreck anybody, you know, because everybody's pretty good and pretty quick, you know, and we're all going kind of the same speed. And... Uh, one tiny little mistake, you can go back three or four cars, so you just got to be patient and, and steady. Man, if you didn't have those mechanical issues, you might have been up there battling for that win. You had to start deep, but your crew really worked hard tonight. Yeah, like I said, I think there's something minor wrong with the motor. It's not a big deal, I hope. And, um, yeah, the car was uh, amazing tonight. We had Steve getting uh, trying some other stuff with the car tonight, and uh, it really, really worked. Um, it was going around there really nice. There you have a Glenn Styers runner up here tonight. We'll get a word with Corey Turner. Podium finish for the driver at a Caster Center. Well, Corey, top three. Good run for you here tonight. Uh, the top two uh, just pulled a little bit ahead of you there. Yeah, you know, I, I thought we were going to have something for Mitch uh, mid-race when we got in lap traffic, but then the caution came out, and the uh, lap car in front of us didn't get a good start, and he was gone, and that was, that was the end of that. Who would you like to thank for your third place? Oh, the whole, all the guys at Hills Racing, especially uh, Miles, Pam, and Alex for giving me good stuff. And, you know, we've been, uh, we've been underperforming lately, but tonight, tonight's good to be on the podium. All right, top three finish for Corey Turner. There's your top three for the Cool Kids Core Pack Sprint Car Division. Again, still three features to come. we got the mod lights up next, followed by the mini stocks and the thunder stocks. So stick around. Still plenty of racing to do.